Today for our daily cancellation, I'll be canceling all the people freaking out over the Chiefs fans last night, uh, booing the players as they had their moment of unity. So backing up here for a moment, the NFL was was back in, in action on Thursday night. Not a very interesting game. Chiefs won 34 to 20. Of course, the question was, what would happen before the game? You know, how far would the NFL go in the first game back to alienate the fan base even further? I thought at the very least they might randomly select a white fan from the stands and drag him onto the field to be ritualistically flogged as atonement for the myriad sins of whiteness. But shockingly, that didn't happen. Uh, there was none of that. There, there wasn't much of anything. The Texans didn't come out for the anthem at all, which, fine, I'd prefer that. I'd prefer that over the theatrics during the anthem. Just get it out of sight, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the Chiefs all, all stood, uh, but one player, so that wasn't too bad. But then right before the game started, they went out, onto the field, locked arms, and had a moment of unity. And the fans didn't seem to like it very much. Listen. Thank you. Now, the left and the and the people in sports media, but I repeat myself, I suppose, have been fainting quite performatively over this. They booed a moment of unity. Why, I never. Um, that's how I imagine them when they're tweeting, do, doing this with their hands. How dare these, uh, you know, how dare these fans boo racial unity? They must be a bunch of racists. How could they? A headline on the, the leftist news site, Raw Story, called the fans classless trash. John Fugelsang said, America's racist, always booing at demonstrations against the racism, never booing at actual racism. Sports writer Michael Lee was, uh, was, was very upset. He said, my hometown's got no love for unity. They're booing unity now. Charlotte Clymer of the extremist group, the Human Rights Campaign, said, who's surprised by these fans who are booing? It was never about the national anthem. It was never about respect for the flag. It was always about sheer discomfort over any personal accountability a fan might be motivated to consider regarding their role in systemic racism. Another media person, Cameron Justice, said, booing equality is pretty telling, and on and on and on. Now, all of this, of course, misses the point on purpose. Despite the pretensions of the left, nobody is against unity or justice or equality. The left likes to pretend that it's waging a war against cartoon villains who are, in principle, actually opposed to, you know, things like justice, as if we're saying, yeah, you know, we're not big fans of justice. Just, uh, it doesn't do much for us. We're, we're, we're sort of anti-justice. We're, we're big fans of injustice, actually. We're injustice. That's more our speed. No, that, that's not a position that anybody holds. Even people who actually do favor injustice, like the people who defend rioters and looters as they burn down city blocks, those are people who favor injustice, but they don't see themselves that way, and they would never be that explicit about it. In fact, they feel the need to claim that rioting and looting is justice and to defend it on that basis. That's how humans work. It's called rationalizing. So why were people booing? Well, the reason people booed the moment of unity is that we have come to understand what is really meant in our culture by unity. It's just like when someone starts talking about being anti-racist. I'd boo that too. Is that because I'm pro-racist? No. It's because when I hear someone talk about being anti-racist, I know that they don't really mean anti-racist. I know that anti-racism is a euphemism, and a lot of of actual racism is promoted and justified under the guise of being anti-racist. So yes, I boo you when you say it because I know what you really mean, and you know what you really mean. So let's stop pretending we don't understand each other. This is the way the game is always played, though, with the left. They do the same thing with Black Lives Matter. If somebody opposes Black Lives Matter, they say, oh, you you don't think Black Lives Matter, huh? No, I do think Black Lives Matter. Everybody thinks that. Nearly everyone in the country agrees on that point. Near unanimous agreement. But you keep saying it anyway. Why is that? Because behind that slogan is a whole bunch of other stuff that has nothing to do with, with black people at all. And all I need to do is check out the Black Lives Matter website, look at their professional beliefs, uh, their, their agenda as they lay it out themselves to confirm that this has nothing to do with black people at all. And there are dozens of examples of this. Pro-choice. Oh, you don't believe in choice, do you? No, I do. I think freedom of choice is good. But I also think that killing innocent people is bad. And when you talk about choice, I know that's what you actually mean. And so that's why I boo your pro-choice slogans, because I know that they are really pro-murder. 
So going back to the racial unity bit, I believe in racial unity. I would love to have racial unity. I would love to have all kinds of unity in this country. But is that really what you want on the left? Is that what you mean when you talk about it? Do you mean that we will all be unified on an equal playing field and that we'll, we will live our lives and treat each other as human beings without segregation, without any need for anyone to apologize for their race or to profess feelings of guilt or to take a submissive or groveling stance? That the law will treat everyone the same and everybody's held to the same standard and so on. Is that what you mean? It isn't, is it? Well, then you don't really want racial unity. You want something else. And it's that something else that was booed and deserves to be booed. Now, personally, the players locking arms and, and uh, standing there doesn't bother me any, doesn't offend me. If I was in the stands, I probably wouldn't have booed it. And I, I can, as far as the NFL players themselves go, I could, I could very well believe that, that many of them, if not most of them, really had great intentions. And, and as far as they're concerned, they really were standing for unity. It was kind of an empty gesture, but whatever. Uh, basically harmless. Yet, um, the, the fans in the stands and so many other people, they are jaded and cynical when it comes to these kinds of gestures and statements. And for highly justified reasons. Because they see how in our culture the left takes these concepts and ideas that by definition in reality are good. The left takes them, empties them out, turns them into euphemisms that stand for things that have nothing really to do with those words at all. And that's what the booing was about. Um, so... And that's why if you're complaining about the booing, you're canceled. Okay. Hey, you. Uh, yeah. You. You right, you right there. Hit the subscribe button right now. Do it. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It's somewhat appreciated.